Hey guys, today's video is long overdue. I'm going to be sharing my updated CD collection for 2023. So in June 2021, I made a video about my entire CD collection. Those were all of the first CDs that I ever got when I started my CD collection. It's been two years since then, and I have pretty much doubled my CD collection. So it is definitely time to give you guys an updated CD collection. In my last video, I think I only had 27 CDs, and now I have 61. So I'm going to be showing about 36 more CDs in this video. I store my CDs in alphabetical order by artist. So that's how I'm going to be doing this video, but I am going to start off with a number I'm going to start off with five for five seconds of summer. So this is five sauce five on CD I have two copies of five sauce five on CD I got this from the five sauce merch store because it's the Michael exclusive cover each band member has their own Individual CD for every album. So for this album I got the Michael one and on the inside here. It does have a Michael thumbprint. It's not stamped on it's printed onto these cards and this is just the standard CD. And then to go along with that, I also got Five Sauce 5 Deluxe. This is the Deluxe CD, so it has all of the bonus songs on the CD. And it comes in this booklet here. It's this um, really big booklet, actually. It's got lots of fun pictures from the whole album process and stuff like that. And as you saw, the CD is in the back here. I love the extra bonus deluxe songs on Five Sauce 5, so I had to get this. My favorite songs on here are Bad Omens, Haze, Blender, and Tears. Now we're moving on to A, and for A I have Area 21. This is Area 21 Greatest Hits Volume 1 on CD. This is their debut album. Area 21 is an alias of Martin Garrix and Major. Pretty sure I got this on eBay. My favorite songs on here are Pogo, Love in Every Minute, Going Home, and Own the Night. Going on to B, I have the band Camino. In 2021, they released their debut album. It's self-titled, so it's called The Band Camino. In this CD, I actually got at their concert. I went to see them live when they opened for Dan and Shay. My favorite songs on here are are Underneath My Skin, I Think I Like You, Know It All, Know It All is my number one favorite. And I also like One Last Cigarette and Roses. And they also just released their album, their second album called The Dark. I love this album so much. As you can see, I did get the signed CD for this album, which was really expensive, but it was so worth it because I love having their signatures. I got the signed CD on their merch store. My favorite song on the album is Afraid of the Dark. That's my number one favorite. And I also like Told You So, See You Later, Last Man in the World, and Novocaine. I have a big stack of CDs here from Bobby D. Bobby D is a DJ. I'm from the Chicagoland area, and one of my subscribers who also lives in the Chicagoland area sent me a bunch of local Chicago DJ mixes on CD, and so that's who Bobby D is. He's a Chicago DJ, and so I have a bunch of his mixes on CD here. I have a ton of his club mixes. There's two from 2011, two from 2012, another one from 2013. So I basically have like eight of his club mixes. Now I'm on to C, and I have Calvin Harris. This is Funk Wave Bounces Volume 2. I didn't like this album as much as Volume 1, but there were still a lot of songs I did like on here. My favorites are Potion, Obsessed, Stay With Me Part 2. I also like New To You. And I also got the signed CD, so it did come with the signed insert, which I did frame. That goes along with the CD. And I got this from Calvin Harris's merch store. I've got another CD by The Chainsmokers. This is their latest album called So Far So Good, and I love this album so much. I play this all the time. I got this CD from Target. This is probably my favorite Chainsmokers album. My favorite songs on here are I Love You, Channel One, If You're Serious, iPad and Cyanide, and I also love The Fall, which is a bonus song. It's not on the CD, but I really love that song. For D, I have Daft Punk, although this is kind of like a bootleg CD. It's not an official Daft Punk album on CD. This is a compilation CD. This has Daft Punk's singles from 1995 to 2006, so the tracklist is pretty big on here. One of my subscribers gave this to me. Now this right here is from the subscriber who gave me those CDs I talked about. His name is DJ Vinyl Junkie, and so he gave me his own like club mix mixtape on CD. So this is called DJ Vinyl Junkie Go A Heaven 20th Anniversary Edition. That's what it looks like, and here's the 
checklist on the back there. He also gave me this CD. This is an album by Eagle Eyed Tiger. This one is called On the Run and the checklist is on the back there as well. Next up, I have another stack of CDs from Chicago DJs. So these are all by Julian Jumpin Perez. I've got a bunch of his mixes. So this is called Back to WBMX 102.7 FM Julian Jumpin Perez Anniversary Edition. I've got Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. I have this really unique looking CD here. Um, a lot of it is written in Japanese, so I had to get this translated. This is Floral Shop by Macintosh Plus. I had to make sure I remembered the title correctly. This is kind of like Chill Wave, I believe. Keeping it going with M, I've got Martin Garrix. I have another Martin Garrix CD. So this is called the Martin Garrix Collection Deluxe Edition. This is a compilation CD with a lot of his greatest hits, and it also has his album Seven on it, and a bunch of remixes as well. I'm pretty sure this came from eBay. It's so hard to pick favorites on here but I love In the Name of Love, So Far Away, Bites, I love We. I also like Spotless and Make Up Your Mind. Next up I have a CD from The Midnight. This was also given to me by DJ Vinyl Junkie. I gotta make sure I say the title correctly. So it's called Red, White, and Bruised The Midnight Live. So this is their live CD. I'm not a huge fan of The Midnight but I did enjoy this live performance. And lastly for M, I have Morgan, aka Me. This is my album Radiance on CD. My debut album Radiance came out on SoundCloud August 12th, 2022. So we are just past the one year anniversary. If you wanna get your hands on a CD, I do have some CDs available on Bandcamp. They're limited edition and they do come with a signed insert. So if you wanna get your hands on one, I will leave a link to buy it in the description. So if you buy a signed copy of the CD, one of these will be included with your purchase. And you can also see the track list on the back here in the corner. I love how this turned out. I guess I will say my favorite songs off of my own album. I actually do like listening Listening to my own album. I thought I might get tired of it because of how many hours I spent producing it, but time to time I do find myself going back and listening to it. But I say my favorites off my own album right now are Better, Move, Lonely Nights, and Wait For You. Literally tracks two through five are like my favorites right now. For N, I have Niall Horan. He did put out another album this year and this one is called The Show. I really like this album. It's not my favorite Niall album, but I still really like this album. So of course I had to get the CD. I really love the aesthetic for this one. And I got this off of Niall's merch store because I did get it signed. So it came with a signed Polaroid picture. I think Niall's signature is so unique. I love it so much. My number one favorite is If You Leave Me. And I also like Meltdown and Heaven. Science is also good too. For P, I have some Post Malone CDs. This is his album 12 Karat Toothache. The CD itself is actually super, super simple. The album artwork is right here on this sticker on the CD, but the case itself is like see-through basically, as you can see there. I really like this Post Malone album. It's not my favorite from him, but I still really like it. I got this at Target. My number one favorite song on here is probably Cooped Up. I love Cooped Up so much. I also like One Right Now, I Like You, Wrapped Around Your Finger, and Reputation. Oh, and Insane. Insane is so good. This one is another one given to me by DJ Vinyl Junkie. He basically took Post Malone's Coachella live set from 2018 and he put it onto CD. And I love Post Malone so much, especially his 2018 era. And there's a lot of my favorite songs on here that he played live. So this is really cool to have on CD. It's another one that's like a bootleg um, CD. It's unofficial. Moving on to S, I have Skrillex. I love Skrillex so much. I really became a big Skrillex fan in 2023, the beginning of the year when he released his two albums back to back. So the first one here that he released is Quest for Fire. This is definitely my favorite Skrillex album that came out this year. I think I got this off of Amazon. I have so many favorite songs on here. I love Butterflies. That might be my number one favorite. I also like Supersonic and Tears. I also like Leave Me Like This. To go along with Quest for Fire, I have Don't Get Too Close. This is the second album that Skrillex released in 2023. I don't like this one as much as Quest for Fire, but I still really enjoy it. This one I got on eBay because Amazon canceled my order. My favorite songs are Way Back. That one is my number one favorite. And I also like Real Spring, Summertime, Bad For Me, and Mixed Signals. Next up, I have Swedish House Mafia. 
This is their album, Paradise Again. I was never in a rush to get this on CD. I thought that if I found it somewhere for cheap, I would pick it up. And so I found it on eBay for $5 and so I grabbed it. My favorite song is definitely Lifetime. And my other favorite songs are Time, Heaven Takes You Home, Moth to a Flame, It Gets Better, Red Light, and Another Minute. For tea, I have Tiesto. Tiesto released his album Drive in April, 2023. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I really enjoy the album for what it is. There's a lot of fun bangers on here that I love. I got this on eBay. My favorite songs on the CD are All Nighter, The Motto, The Business, Chills, and back around. These last three CDs are all from DJ Vinyl Junkie. This one is another synthwave one. It's called Miami Squeeze and it's by Zach Vortex. I got this when I was first getting into synthwave. These final two CDs are compilation CDs. This one is all synthwave and it's by a bunch of different artists. This one here is all chill wave. This one says chill waves for the summer. I haven't had a chance to listen to these last two yet but I think I'm really going to enjoy the chill wave and and synthwave on these CDs. Those were the 36 new CDs that I added to my CD collection in the past two years. I counted all of my CDs and now I have a total of 61. I kind of thought I had more than that but I guess not and now that all of my new CDs are here I could finally make this a video and I know you guys have been waiting for it for a very long time so I'm really glad it's out. In the comments you can tell me all of the new CDs that you have added to your collection recently. You could also tell me your favorite CD release from 2023 so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!